Hi there, I'm Hugo. I'm one of the creators of Quenza. I would love to show you how the Activity Builder works. Let's start with the main menu bar. This button will save a draft version of your activity. Once you feel the activity is ready, you can now publish the activity by hitting this button. This button will allow you to preview the activity and see what it will look like when your client completes it. With these two buttons, you can redo or undo any of your actions in the Activity Builder. You can leave the Activity Builder by hitting back over here. Now let's move on to the three tabs over here. The first tab is the Builder. That's where you are now. Here you can create or edit your activities. In the second tab, you can add notes to an activity. These notes will not be visible to your client. They're only there for you. In the last tab, you can add information to categorize the activity. Here you can enter tags and specify the type of activity you're creating. This kind of data helps the activity to be found again by browsing or searching. Now let's go back to the activity builder. You can enter the title of the activity here. It's also possible to add a different title for clients below the main title. Clients who receive this activity will see this title instead of the main title. Note that this title for clients is optional. You don't need to enter one. Okay, let's start building an activity. The panel on the right shows the items you can use to build your own activity. Think of them as building blocks. You can drag them to the left and start editing them immediately. Allow me to demonstrate this. So let's say I want to create a question that requires a written response from clients. With this item over here, I can create a question that requires a long response. If I want to create a question that requires a short response, I can use this item. Let's start with a long response. You can drag and drop the items. I click the mouse button to select the item and then move the mouse while keeping the mouse button pushed down. Now lift up the mouse button to drop the item. If you're using a tablet, you can use your fingers instead. Once I drop the item, it is automatically in edit mode, allowing me to add information to the item, such as an instruction. For example, how was your day? This part below is where the client responds, so you don't need to enter anything here. I can add styling to the text by using these buttons over here. This button allows you to add an image to your text. You can resize the image here, change the position here, and remove the image here. A nice feature of this builder is that you can personalize your message. By entering a so-called token, such as client first name, Quenza will automatically insert your client's first name here upon sending the activity. If you want this item to be mandatory, enable the toggle over here. If you want to duplicate this item, hit this button here. And if you want to delete the item, click on the bin over here. You can leave the edit mode of an item by clicking outside the item box. To go back in edit mode, simply click on the item box again. Of course, you can add as many items as you want. You can also rearrange items, drag and drop them where you want. Simply go to the top of an item box, the drag and drop dots appear, and now you can place this item wherever you want. It will take too much time to go through each and every item, but there is one item that I would like to pay some attention to, because I think you will come to use it a lot. It's this item, the page break. This item creates a button to continue to the next item. So let's place this page break between these two item boxes. Now let's preview this. As you can see, your client is now required to hit this button in order to continue to the next item. It's also possible to add so-called sections to your activity. A section helps to add structure to your activity and is often useful when an activity is longer and consists of several different parts. Add a section by hitting the plus button over here. As you can see, there are now two sections. A title for each section can be entered here. The title of a section is placed under the main title of the activity. Let me show you. You can expand and collapse a section with this button here. Remove it here and duplicate it here. It's also possible to rearrange sections. To do so, collapse the sections, navigate to the left of the section box and simply move it where you want it to be. That's it. I hope this was helpful. If you have any further questions, please let us know in the support section. Take care. Bye.